the path of most resistance. Where are you going from it? Where's that from there? That's just the title. Well, In nature, water cascading down a mountain follows the path of least resistance, the easiest route to arrive at its final destination. Humans are no different. I woke up one day and had enough, so without any training or even a plan, I signed up to a 62 mile ultra marathon event, having done no exercise in over 20 years. This forced me into panic mode. What did you do? No, it would force me. Oh, it would force you. Change is good, but to change, one has to go through resistance. For water to change course, it has to forge out a new route, cut a new gully, take the path of most resistance. So this is my first real attempt at a significant walk, 50 days until race to the stones. The path of most resistance is a series of videos that document my fitness and weight loss journey that I started back in 2019 at the age of 39, when I weighed 27 plus stone. 60 plus miles across two days. So the challenge today is 20 miles. When I first attempted 10 miles two months ago, it almost broke me. Okay, that's us finished, 10 miles walked. Um, it's taken us, hang on, is it 10 miles? I haven't checked. Yes. Oh, 10.1. It's taken us four and a half hours. <laughs> Mad, lean in, Tracy, lean in. I can't lean in anymore. <laughs> reached exactly 20 miles. 20 miles, done. Um, and it's taken me over eight hours. So this clip is actually my first attempt at getting fit. I haven't shared this before because it's such poor quality. For some reason, I filmed it in a really weird format, this fisheye effect. Um, but this was my first attempt at getting fit. I went out and bought a 500 pound road bike and took to the roads and paths around my area. I hated every second of it. Didn't enjoy cycling at all. I used to cycle everywhere as a kid. So for some reason, I thought this would be the best way to do it. And uh, yeah, it wasn't. Luckily for me, I never gave up at this point. Today is my first ever 30 mile walk. I completely overestimated my own ability on this walk. It was supposed to be a 30 mile walk along the Thames from the docks, just the other side of Greenwich to where I live in Essex. Uh, however, yeah, it didn't quite go to plan. For the last few miles, if I'm honest, it's been really tough going. Um, I had to stop. Yeah, I needed a bit of a break if I'm honest. My legs are on fire. Just completed 15 miles. Right. So how many miles we down? 44.6. 44.6. My Ryan's toe. got a boo-boo. My toenail's gone. Ryan's broken his toenail. Snapped it off. Snapped it off the end, like a bell end. Oh, oh no. no. What's he done? And then this walk was with two friends where it was a 50K walk along a, a towpath, along a canal. Um, this was just before Race to the Stones. 
and it was my last ditch attempt to get myself anywhere near fit enough to be able to complete it. So me and Ryan have decided that he's just going to give up because there is absolutely <laughs> no point, right? He's just going to have a lie down over there. Can you, can you point to that ditch over there? This walk did more bad than good. More importantly, it knocked my confidence. I thought if I'm struggling to do 50k, then I have no chance of doing 100k and Race to the Stones was just around the corner. I think you should jog this, Ryan. I mean, you've been giving it large on All right, let's running. go. My mindset at the time was that this event was a one-off and it was more than enough to get me out of the house and away from fast food. As it... Take your time. Why am I struggling reading? <laughs> away from fast food and as a means to an end. However, it very quickly became an obsession. And once I completed that event, I moved on to another and then another as I fell in love with the feeling of well-being that running gave me. That running? <laughs> Renin gave me good morning. That feeling you can only get from going that extra mile, pushing yourself when you know you can, and achieving something that you've always wanted to. I completed Race of the Stones in 25 or so plus hours. Annoyingly, I've lost the original footage. I still have the video I made for YouTube. I carried a small DSLR with me the whole way. The original video is still on YouTube now. It's on my channel. No, this is the first time I've ever done anything. Yeah, thank you, and you. Feel your pain. Thank you. Good luck. In 2019, I gave up alcohol. I went completely teetotal. And in 2020, we all turned vegan as a family. I blame my oldest animal loving daughter for that one. Hey! <laughs> yeah. I heard a quote recently that said, change happens when the pain of staying the same is greater than the pain of change. Wife. So I'm not saying don't expect anything because we can't do that as humans, but you gotta like to notice that expectations lead to suffering. I had to Google who said it. It was someone called Tony Robbins. What just happened there when these came down like that? And you started breathing here too. Um, start to believe in you and be open. <laughs> I'm not a fan of his style, but this quote was perfect. No one likes to change. Even if the status quo isn't any better, it just has to be slightly less shit than having to make that change. Whoa! <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> so today is the first official day of government in force lockdown, second day of isolation. Um, as I say, I've gone out for a walk today, two reasons, mainly because my business, my job, where I work, announced last night that we're closing all stores so i've got a responsibility to my team to ins ensure that they stay communicated with by me in 2020 i was made redundant from the corporate world of sales and targets we are expected to work hard and play harder from a career that i'd been working on since 1998 it's gonna grow and grow and grow today is my birthday 24th of march tuesday the 24th and i'm 40 years old Happy birthday to me. I had a decision to make. Remain in the same industry and continue to work on that career or walk away. Change into something new. Reinvent myself. Woo! So during one of the world's biggest pandemics and with full-on lockdowns everywhere, my wife Tracy and I decided to start our own family business together. This gave me the time, motivation and confidence to do the things I've only ever dreamed of doing. Be my own boss. In reality, I now work for my wife. She's the boss. Recorded. Stop telling me off. Can't be telling me off on camera. I can. You can't. I can. I can. will. Is it recording? Yeah. All right. Ready? Action. All right. Go. So we started the business in 2019. Yeah. Uh, and then you got made redundant, um, March 2020, just before the pandemic. Um, but that was when we decided to make this our full-time family business. And then we've been going ever since then, just making it bigger and better each month. Yeah. as we go how hard was it when, when it I was, was really hard really beginning. hard at the beginning um not knowing if it was going to work and then again when we reopened what was it like when i got made redundant when i got made redundant it was it was hard no one knew what to do whether to take the plunge make it a full-time business or whether to just keep it small and you to find another job so the first thing that started you off on your fitness journey was the race to the stones event 
was the first thing you decided to sign yourself up for. And at the time, everyone thought it was a bit crazy. Um, but it meant, say? well, no one believed that you could do it. Did yeah. they? Everyone thought you was off your rocker. Why? Because you weighed uh, a lot. You didn't really have a healthy lifestyle. Didn't do a minute's exercise in the whole entire year, let alone walk 60 miles over two days. But you did it. You woke up one day and was like, I'm going to do it. And this is how I'm going to do it. You cut out everything bad that was in your life, like fast food, takeaways, uh, going out for dinner was dramatically reduced, um, cut out the alcohol, and then we made the big decision a few months afterwards, um, maybe a year into the journey of getting fit, we decided to become vegan. We decided to do another one, another walking event. Instead of doing it over 48 hours, you did it over 24 hours. Yeah, walk the line, I called it. Yeah. And then walking wasn't enough anymore. You wasn't losing enough weight quick enough through walking. So you stepped it up and started running. And then you did the 30-30 challenge. Yeah. And you found that that was your new passion. Uh, and then you decided to sign yourself up for the London Marathon. And I trained every day, didn't I? Yeah, every day. Months and months and months and months. Dropping you off, dropping water to you halfway through your, your training. Having to pick you up from random places because you'd pushed yourself too far and couldn't get home. Just quickly going back to the business. Yeah. Who's in charge of the business? Oh, I'm in charge. 100%. I'm in charge. Of all aspects of the business. So it's not a joint affair? No. <laughs> okay, thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe. No, I'm not saying that. Okay. I still have a very long way to go from a fitness perspective. I'm not fast or breaking any records, but I am very consistent and extremely motivated. You can't train attitude. I mean, you're close to breaking records. What records? The pop from nearly I'm not breaking any. I'm, I'm not breaking any records, Dad. Drum roll. Um, I intend to run my 5K in under 30 minutes challenge basically. Uh, it means that I want to run a 5k park run in under half an hour. Running 5k over a park run terrain in under 30 minutes is my Everest at the moment. When I've done it, I'll find my new Everest. Two years ago, I couldn't run a 5k without stopping, let alone at any kind of decent pace. I'm just trying to run in under 30 minutes, which, which, yeah, which is my record. Carry on. I now feel I'm in phase two. Phase one was getting moving, losing weight, discovering running and learning through trial and error. Now I feel I'm a lot more confident in my own ability and most importantly, my own limitations. This is just the point in the marathon where I can pick up the pace, run that little bit faster, push myself that little bit harder. Phase two won't just be about getting moving and losing weight. It'll be about moving a lot more and achieving things that my thirties me would never have dreamed of. Is it a midlife crisis? I think my friends and family think so. But it's a hell of a lot better than buying a little red sports car. Sports car, really? Do you know what a midlife crisis is? Yeah. You're an obsession. You're not even alive. Little red sport car. Little red sport car. You're just a sad memory. because I'm struggling to stand up. I feel absolutely dreadful. This hasn't been an easy path to follow. I'm getting older. I have a lot more to lose now than when I was in my 20s. However, anything worth doing is never easy and the easy path never leads anywhere worthwhile. I've been on the path of least resistance before. I know where it leads. Because you have been down there, Neil. You know that road. You know exactly where it ends and I know that's not where you want to be. I am happy to change. In fact, I am now the force of my own change wherever it leads me as long as Tracy gives me the day off. What's the least resistance? Least resistance. So when you do something, 
if it's easy, it's not worthwhile, is it? No. Least resistance. So if you, for example, water falling off of a mountain, it's just going to fall straight down, isn't it? Whereas if it, if it wants to cut through a new route, it has to force its way through brambles and rocks to cut through a new route. Okay. So it's, mo it's more resistance. Okay. Previously on my channel, I made videos about everything and anything, including family holidays. I've decided to dedicate this channel for now to my fitness journey. And I plan to document as much as I can into fun videos, I hope, that will entertain and occasionally inspire. This is my new series, The Path of Most Resistance. Please subscribe. Oh. Oh. Thanks, Mad. The Path of Most Resistance. Little Red Sport Car. Little Red Sport Car. You're just a sad memory. Thanks, Mad. Little Red Sport Car. Little Red Sport Car.